Install AutoGPT Locally Quick Setup Guide. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing and incredible day. I bring you back with yet another video and in this video we're going to be discussing about AutoGPT and how you can use this incredible software for yourself as, you know, your basic AI chatbot or, you know, any other GPT stuff that you wanted to. Okay, and I'm going to be showing you how you're going to install it into your computer as a local host in the easiest most simplest way possible so all i want you to do is to watch this video fully till the end and uh yeah i'm going to be fully going through all the depths of how you're going to do and install the software now do know this that we're going to have to download and install a lot of different things okay you're going to have to download github uh, you know, Git for Windows, you're going to have to download the Python language, you're going to have to download AutoGPT, Agent GPT, and a lot of other stuff. So, yeah, uh, do make sure to watch this video till the end fully, because if you do that, then I guarantee you that only then, till the end, you will realize how you uh, can basically install AutoGPT in the easiest, most simplest way possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Now, to start ourselves off, what we're going to do is obviously like you have auto gpt over here okay so first of all let's go ahead and discuss in depth about this so auto gpt what is it basically you know it's a brand new um obviously gpt it's a brand new ai you know with the our people open ai we know that uh, they introduced us to gpt3 gpt3.5 and gpt4 okay and they obviously had their own chat gpt which worked like an absolute charm it was an amazing tool and obviously you can see over here even auto gpt uh they have a lot of cool stuff so harness the power of auto gpt supercharging your tasks and projects the rise of autonomous agents preparing for the ai revolution auto gpt revolutionizing industries with unparalleled applications the evolution of conversational ai a guide to ai feature from chat gpt to agent ai Okay, unleashing the power of auto GPT, transforming industries and shaping the future, seven challenges and potential risks, and you know, a lot of other stuff that it discusses about. Okay, so yeah, that's the basic, uh, you know, overview of auto GPT, and you can also check it in detail on GitHub. Okay, and as you can see, an autonomous GPT 4 experiment, and obviously, this is the place where you're gonna mostly downloaded this is obviously significant gravitas auto gpt we're going to download it from our tarantulino okay so first of all let's go ahead and uh, let me show you how you're going to get git for windows so you're going to go ahead and write git for windows.com okay it's uh, really simple you're just going to come here and write git for windows.org okay just write that enter it and it's going to bring you here so get for windows we bring the git scm to windows so all you're going to do is you're just going to click on download and obviously it's going to give you a whole git gui and a git bash so git with for windows provides a bash emulation used to run git from the command line obviously this is your basic command uh, center that obviously if you write cmd you're going to get this but um this basically links you directly to the github servers so that's why this brings you at a higher advantage in my opinion okay so now once we've downloaded this now what we're going to do is we're going to go over to www.python.org okay now once you head over to python.org obviously this is where you're going to be downloading python okay now the reason i'm making you download this is because obviously auto gpt and github only understand python and if you don't have python in your system then it will not be able to understand the languages and not even you would be able to understand like you can see python shows you numbers and texts you know intuitive interpretation etc even you won't be able to understand all of this so yeah, we're going to have to make sure to have Python. Then we're just going to go in downloads. Okay. Now, once you're here, just download any latest version of Python. Okay. And, uh, I, like, just go with whatever's latest. Okay. So, uh, I would go with 3.7, obviously. Or you can just go with any specific release. Doesn't really matter. Okay. So, let's say I'm going to go with this one. Okay. The uh, latest 3.7. 
And once you go into the latest 3.7, they're going to give you the whole, you know, content library. Or you can just, you know, look for a specific version like this one. And once you do that, you're going to come down here and then just, you know, download the zip file or anything. And by doing so, what you're going to do is that's just going to download the, um, you know, uh, main source file of the Python. And once you do that, then you're just going to install Python into your system. It's going to be like, it's going to take a few seconds to do so. Really simple stuff. And once you're done with that, what you're going to do from there is now you're going to head over to this link over here. Okay, so this is github.com. Okay, this is the link that we just were a few seconds ago. And now once you're here, as you can see, these are, you know, different files of code, the different header files, etc and uh, this is like the demo of auto gpt this is how it's going to look like they have a whole video and you can also see the features so internet access for searches and information gathering long-term and short-term memory management gpt4 instances for text generation access to popular websites and platforms file storage and summarization extensibility with plugins and much more you can also like uh, see the whole setup from here okay pretty simple stuff and, uh, you know, these are all the creators that combined all their, you know, uh, genius to create AutoGPT. Now, to obviously download the code file from here, you're just going to go ahead and click on code. And once you click on code, you're going to come down here. Okay, first of all, you're going to copy this link and you're going to go ahead and paste it into the Git for Windows that we downloaded. Okay, and once you do that, you can also like just open GitHub with desktop or download this whole code zip file okay now what that will do is it will as i said connect the git for windows to this github server over here and it will integrate the two of them and uh, yeah uh, then they will directly feed information and access from here and then once we're done with all of that and once we're going into all that technicality only then will we come to this link okay we're going to come to agentgpt.reworked.ai so yeah here you can see this is basically the same as your auto gpt and uh, yeah first of all you're gonna give it your name and yeah then uh, you're just gonna do something so let's call it dan and let's say make me laugh you know just as a joke you're gonna click on deploy agent and obviously it's gonna start doing what you want it to do and it's going to be working just like AutoGPT. Really cool and simple stuff. And uh, it's just really fun to work with this. So, yeah, that's essentially about it for this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, please do make sure to drop down a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, where I explain to you more in depth on how these things work, then uh, please do uh, let me know down in the comments below and I will make more fun content for you. But yeah, that's uh, essentially about it for this video. Do, uh, do again, leave a, a like and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, that's essentially about it. So thank you for watching, and I'll be seeing all of you next time. Goodbye.